Greetings Ivy Artists, this is Miss A and today I'll be giving you five tips for your interviews when you're applying to art universities and colleges. So let's get going. At this point they've seen your work and in a very short space of time they would like to get to know you as quickly as possible. They're really trying to gauge you know what is special about you, what is different, what is specific to you. So that's the first thing. They're trying to also see how invested you are in your work and of course into getting into their institution. They would like to know a little bit more about the process behind your work that you've sent in. So how do you actually think things through? You know, how do you reason things out? Why do you use this medium instead of this one? What are your thought processes? What role experimentation and discovery has, etc., etc. So basically the steps that you've taken in order to accomplish the work that you've sent in. They may also be interested in what direction you want to go in once and if you get into their institution. So what are your kind of future plans? Where do you see your work going? So now I'll start with the five tips. So tip number one is actually quite an obvious one and that is to practice. Practice as much as you can, practice with people, you know, get your, your other art buddies in the class to support each other and also it's quite a good idea to record yourself you may become aware of things that you do unconsciously like if you use like too much or if you um 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 a lot this is something that i know i do and i have to edit all those ums out so it's a good way to become aware of anything unconscious and repetitive that might sound a little bit annoying to whoever's listening. The other thing, I will say this, that the people who are interviewing know that you're nervous, so you shouldn't worry about that too much, but it's always good to know and be aware of how you're kind of coming across. Also, this is when all the kind of chats you've had with your teacher and the classroom discussions and critiques come in handy because you have practiced verbalizing ideas, your thoughts and discussing your process with you know quite a few people. So this, this is really good and important preparation for the interviews. Having said this, you know you know you will be tense in the interview. So you don't want to kind of get into a state of panic and not be able to articulate something. So make sure that you practice talking specifically about the portfolio that you sent in. Right, so tip number two is to research the institution, the university, the college that, that you want to go to very, very well. You know, really make sure that you know a lot about it. Watch students talk about it in, on YouTube. There's usually blurb on the faculty who teach. Make sure that you get to all the information about that place. The reason why it's really, really important to research where you're applying to is because a, is it a place that actually appeals to you is it somewhere where you can see yourself in the future everything from its location sometimes universities will actually publish a bit of blurb on the faculty and sometimes that faculty will be the ones who are interviewing you and it may be actually really useful to look closely at what their interests are and see if you can bring something up in the interview so for example, I had a Chinese student who wanted to do architecture and one of the people who were going to interview him was very much interested in urban planning and architecture in China. So it was obvious that the student was going to bring that up and mention, you know, his favorite buildings, maybe ask a few questions about the, the, the interviewer's experience or just share some bit of information just to connect with the interviewer. So it might be useful to know what the people who are interviewing are into just so that you could kind of connect with them during the interview. The third thing that your research is going to help you do is generate questions. And one of the most common questions that 
the interview is kind of ended on is do you have any questions so this is when your research comes in handy because if you have questions it basically means that you have done your research so it works for you in in all ways possible it's a good thing tip number three is prepare to talk about at least one of your pieces you should have one piece in mind that you want to spend a little bit extra time on you could talk about you know your most successful piece and why you think it's the most successful piece what is successful about it you could talk about a piece that, that you feel that you you've not really done that well on uh, basically failed in many ways but that piece was important to get you into a new direction made you rethink your whole project or made you experiment in a different way basically how it was a learning experience so you know the piece that you're talking about has to have something interesting that you can talk about in depth you could also talk about a future piece. So perhaps, you know, what you're currently working on has led you into a new direction, something that you're excited to pursue in the future. So that may also be something that you want to talk about. So tip number four, I have already mentioned in tip number two, and that is to ask questions. If you're asking questions, you are telling them that you have done your research. And make sure that the questions that you're asking are based on research. So you could talk about the, you know, specifics of the building, the location, the courses, uh, all based on research. You could be, you know, talking about the specifics of the course, etc., etc. You could also be talking about how they prepare you for the outside world, what kind of networking opportunities they are, whether they have a placement program, etc., etc. Visiting lectures, you know, who comes to the school, or maybe you could say, I noticed that such and such was a visiting lecturer. It shows that you have done your research, that you are invested in being accepted, uh, and that you are looking forward and enthusiastic about your work and your learning experience. So tip number five is be up on current events that are related to what you want to study or that is within your focus of interest, okay? So make sure that you know what current exhibitions there are, be prepared to talk about something that you've seen or experienced. So again, that shows that you are invested. It shows that you are inspired, that you're looking around, that you're keen to learn, etc., etc. So this is really important that you're showing them that yes, I can apply critical thinking to my experiences and connect them with my own work and get inspired by that, etc., etc. That is a really important thing to prepare. They may ask you straight out whether you've been to any exhibitions, etc., or you may want to kind of mention it so that you can communicate to them that you know you are someone who is serious. So my bonus tip is you know, make sure that you smile. You don't have to be grinning like a psycho, you know, and forcing it, but just every now and again, remember to smile. It will relax you. It's, you know, one of the quickest ways to connect with somebody. And also it shows that you're confident, that you are confident in what you're saying, that you're confident with your ambitions and that, you know, you're hopeful for a future where you are actively doing what you love etc etc so having said this i wish you all the very very best i hope you've liked the video i hope it's been useful if you did like share subscribe it really helps me out thank you so much for listening this is miss a all the best mm -hmm.